just did. Oh, what is it? Chicken! Oh. No, that's my pet Hortan! I'll take away. I'll I'll take give away. Let go, let go, let go! Oh. 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 wanted to fly. Just wanted to check with you people who are recording this show. Make sure your equipment's all hooked up and ready to go. Don't want you to miss any part of it. All right, get ready to hit the record button in three, two, one, go. <laughs> This town ain't big enough for you. <laughs> Go for your gun, stranger. No. Go for your gun, stranger. No, no, even stranger. No, really, really strange. Yeah, strange like that. <laughs> say something? No. Oh. Uh, that noise, it seems to be coming from your feet. What the heck are you talking about? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there it is again. You're nuts. What are you, some kind of a pervert? Get away from my feet! I can hear a voice coming from your shoe. Whoa! He's in that! He's got my foot! Help me! Save me! Who are you? I am Shirley, the talking sock. Save me from this man's cruel feet. Wow. He keeps me in his shoes. I can't breathe. It smells. All right. What's going on here? This guy's got a foot fetish! No, I don't. Listen to this sock. This sock is being held against its will. Go on, tell them what you told me. All right, buddy, leave the guy's foot alone. I knew they wouldn't listen. All right, Shirley, I'll save you. Hey! Jeez. Well, it's a good thing I brought an extra along. Now, don't call causing me problems, Wendell. I know, Harry. That Shirley hasn't been the same since her elastic broke. <laughs> about to make the incision. Is everybody ready? Ready. Ready. Donor organ ready? It's ready. I'm ready for a drink. I can't wait for your party tonight. A party? Yes, I'm having a party tonight after the transplant. Well, thanks for inviting me. Sorry, Al. I thought I invited everybody. No, I never heard. Oh, I live at 130 Almeida. Where's that? It's easy. Scalpel. Scalpel? Okay, you go along Duke Street, right? Right. You hang a left onto Elmira, go along Elmira till you get to Lawler. Now there's the train tracks, okay? Okay, now you go along around the pond that's there, right around, and that's Almeida. And I'm at 130 Almeida. Okay, can I get a copy of this map? Sure. Dave, can you get an x-ray of this? Yeah, I'll get it. Could you hold it? And now, darling, the dance? of the seven garbage can lids. Garbage can? Oh. oh. Get your paws off me. Mr. Sludge Pants Jefferson here to see you. Sludge Pants Jefferson, the famous blues singer? Send him in. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, this is a surprise and an honor. I, I'm quite a fan of yours. Please come in. Now, uh, why do you need the services of a lawyer? My baby up and left me. 
I see a divorce proceeding. I said, my baby, she up in Memphis. I said, my baby, she's gone away. Well, Mr. Jefferson, may I call you Sludge Cans? If she left on her own volition, you have a number of options. I know if I called that preacher, that woman of mine, she would have stayed. Oh, you weren't married. Well, there are palimony laws. What sort of woman was she? She used to cook me dinner. A traditional relationship? Well, if she doesn't have her own means of support, it gets dicey. She used to cook me dinner. She used to do anything I say. This could get very, very expensive. How do you plan on being able to afford my services? Well, since that woman left me, I write ten new blues songs a day. <laughs> Guitar lesson. Oh, I could use a guitar lesson. Kilimanjaro, the Nile, big game hunting, Africa, land of mystery, Dr. Livingston, Albert Schweitzer, the Zulus. Actually, we were thinking more along the lines of Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Fort Lauderdale. That's right. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Well, that's right. Now you got it. Fort Lauderdale. Well, there's an exciting vacation. Oh, we don't want excitement. We just want to relax on the beach. <laughs> Relaxing on the beach. Now, that's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. <laughs> hey, kids, guess what Mommy and Daddy did for three weeks? We sunburned our pasty damn thighs as we read Beverly Chartlin novels by a heated pool full of retired hardware salesmen from Wisconsin who knew every episode of Hee Haw off by heart. But we like sport. That's certainly convenient, isn't it? Wouldn't want to live a life that's rich and full. After all, you've got microwave ovens and magnets on your fridge. Do you know what this is? <laughs> An African death mask. But how can that compare with the thrill of buying a hat made of palm leaves with I was in Fort Lauderdale written on it in snail shells? No, forget Lake Tanganyika. May as well rot in Fort Lauderdale. Maybe you catch a show starring Jack Carter or Jerry Van Dyke. If you don't want to book our trip, you don't have to. No! You're booked into the Fort Lauderdale Hotel. You leave in the morning. <laughs> Yes? The doctor in? May I ask who's calling? Well, I'm a former patient of his. He performed an operation on me that saved my life, but I never did get a chance to thank him. See, I was unconscious all the time, and I never met him. Then how do you know he was the doctor who performed the operation? Well, this is 1.30 Almeida, isn't it? <laughs> Morning, Kent. Morning, Bill. 
Give me two eggs sunny side up and an order of brown toast. Why are you limping? Another spring break in your car seat? No, just a pile. Some fishing off that concrete pier of mine. Gonna rain in town today, I can tell. Left knuckles sore. I dread it. No, no, from wrapping on the front of my barometer. I tell you, Chet, a barometer is ours a good, clean fun. Uh -oh. oh, dear, where's my... Wait, looks more like an apparition of some sort. Kind of reminds me of Mrs. Clemson over in Bracebury. <laughs> Only Miss Clemson don't go around floating over grills. No, I wonder what she's Wait, doing. Wait, she's St. Helicia. I've seen her picture in the classic comic version of Lives of the Saints. Uh, what do you read about? I wonder what St. Helicia's doing in our town. Pretty far off the main highway. Oh, probably the bacon one attracted her. Oh, excuse me there, Your Holiness. I don't want this to burn none. <laughs> hey, my pile. <laughs> They're cured. This food did it. Did I cook it? No, St. Alicia, the food. This is miracle food. Chad, your restaurant's gonna be like Lord's. Only in cottage country. Want seconds? No. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Sorry it took so long. Remember, patience is golden. Don't worry, we'll have you up and around by dessert. Uh, Chet, eggnog for the agnostics over there. Looking well, really. Colors returning, no kidding. Come on up, let me just clear this booth out for you, folks. Get yourself in there. Make yourself comfortable, pilgrims. We've come to be cured. Mm -hmm. I have a grilled cheese sandwich. Special cure of the day is goiter. That's piggies in a blanket and tea. <laughs> hey, Jack! One Joan of Arc and a Simon. Hold the cross. Don't be a sinner. Eat your crust, sir. <laughs> Announcing the arrival of His Holiness Pope John Paul II. Oh. I have a poached egg, prune, Danish, and a black coffee to go. One Trinity coming up. <laughs> Um, for those of you recording this show, you can shut it off now. We're gonna go to a commercial in about five or ten seconds, and we'll be back in two minutes. So you either hit pause or stop. I think I hit erase. Okay, we're going into the last segment of the show, so hit the record button in three, two, one. The record button. R-E-C, the, the one with the red light. Hurry! Oh, you're, look what you're missing! Hi. This is my grandfather. Uh, no, Rick, that's not your grandfather. That's not my grandfather? No, Rick, that's a picture of your grandfather. Really? Yeah, your grandfather is much larger than that, Rick. I wondered why he was so flat. <laughs> why did my mom say this was my grandfather? Well, she was playing a rather cruel and pointless joke on you. I can't believe this is happening to me now. No, it isn't, Rick. It's not? No, it's not happening now. This is pre-recorded on tape. So... This isn't really me? No, Rick, that's an electronic image of you on a television set. And me? You're an image on everyone's television set at home. Are you real? No, Rick, I'm just a disembodied voice. It's like nothing is real. We're just, we're just images. Bursts of energy. Fleeting specks of light, like moments in time. Yeah. Wait, we still get paid, don't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> the market is bullish on us. Let's close the deal. <laughs> Miss Chatsy, hold my calls. <laughs> I'll do a lunch, and you can bring your people. You heard me. Buy 400 shares based on our oral agreement and force takeover. I got a squash game at the club. Ready for my boo? Great. Ciao, baby. <laughs> I concur with that, Conrad. Let me interface with accounting for a feasibility report. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> Would you like to order now? Uh, I think I'll wait until my friend arrives. Oh, fine. Thanks. So there you are, Mary. 
You're a half an hour late, Quinnell. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was at home doing nothing. It just took longer than I thought. You know how it is. I guess our date wasn't very important. No, 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 Mary. Who else is going to buy me lunch? <laughs> Hi, I'm your waiter, Maurice. How are you today? May I help you? <laughs> New stick shifts. Uh, yeah, I've got an itch back here for you if you could scratch me right back there. Pardon? Oh, well, just take the menu, please. Menus? Well. Menus? The man wanted to scratch me. You can tell by the way he's barking. I have something to tell you. Man was a born scratcher. Please, look at me. Whoa! <laughs> oh, bark, bark, Mary. I'm sorry. But not before lunch, okay? <laughs> Go on. Our relationship is going nowhere. Well, let's send it to Disneyland. I mean, it's so Mickey Mouse, and you got the ears and everything, and the, the tongue like Pluto, and the attitude like Goofy. I love you, Mary. Well, Somebody has to, and I drew the short straw. I want something more from a man. Here, you can have my watch. It won't work, Quinnell. Yes, it will. If we put another hole in the strap right here, Mary, you we can make really it work. You don't really know me at all. I've seen you bare naked. And I don't know you at all. Well, you've seen my calves. I am calling it off. Well, if it's an insect repellent, someone beat you to it. I don't think we should see each other anymore, Quinnell. Well, there's no problem. <laughs> oh, look what I found under the table. Who wants gum? I do. Hey, Quinnell. Hi, I'm Mr. Salt Shaker. Watch me vomit salt. That's it. You have embarrassed me enough. <laughs> oh, I could never embarrass you enough, Mary. <laughs> Goodbye, Quinnell. No, Mary, wait. Don't leave me. My life is empty without you. I sound like the Supremes. <laughs> Mary? Whoa. She actually dumped me. Never thought she had the brains. <laughs> she was the only decent thing that ever happened to me. Well, half decent. But still, it was my favorite half. No, no, it's not important. I've got to go on with my life and find someone who can, who can really accept me for who I am. Oh, waitress. Yes, sir? I know what. Gravel pit where no one ever goes, not even gravel truck. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is gonna take longer than I thought. <laughs> hey, uh, 15 is 20. Right. You want me to check your oil? Uh, no thanks, but you could give me directions to the expressway. Oh, yeah, sure. Listen, uh, you go south on Duke, hang a left on the Elmira, or you can go down and out around by the pond. Oh, thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I bought a computer here last week. Oh, yeah. yes, the Laser Futura 303 computer? <laughs> What's wrong with the Laser Futura computer? <laughs> What's wrong? You said it was the latest computer. No, 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 wait, you can upgrade, you can upgrade, you see? Oh? Upgrade your system with this memory expander and you'll be up to date. Three grand. Three thousand dollars? Not anymore. While we're talking, the company's gone obsolete. It's three hundred dollars. I'll take it. Everybody got to move faster than that, son. It's obsolete now. This just came on the market. What a beauty. Twice the memory, same price. How much? Five hundred. Three hundred. One hundred. <laughs> I just want a computer that works, and mine doesn't. I brought my laser future in here to be repaired, and you promised me free repairs. Sorry. We just went out of business. <laughs> Island, we dance all day by the sea. We eat the banana and the mango and discuss psychology. Jojo got Oedipus complex, so many suppressed emotions. 
Mama is oral compulsive. Papa just swim in the ocean. Freddy thinks Freud is the answer. He tells the boy Jung is a fool. He laughs at collective unconscious. Dismiss behavioral school. <laughs> Shade when the sun's high, drink coconut milk when it's hot. We don't want primal or gestalt here. We interpret Rorschach's blood. We are in touch with our feelings. We are in touch with our fear. We are fixated with boredom, intimidated by real. If we have fears, we confront. No, we don't ever avoid Everyone glad on our island Thanks to Sigma Freud Everyone glad on our island Thanks to Sigma Freud Everyone glad on our island Thanks to Sigma Freud Well, that's it. End of the show. Shut your VCRs off. Unless you like the final credit. They're good. I like that. But now you got the show on a piece of tape, you can call it a night. Have a bath, go to bed, sleep, knowing you've trapped the frantic. <laughs> good night.